And as a second bonus dispatch this week, I wanted to update everyone on what's going on with the escalating tensions with Iran. As we discussed last week, a prominent and popular military figure from Iran, General Qasem Soleimani, was assassinated by the U.S. in a civilian airport on January 3rd when he was leaving Iraq after a peace mission to reduce tensions with the Saudis. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo went on Fox News to justify these attacks. He said that there was an imminent attack. Iran was planning on America. He then followed that up with, we don't know where or when it was going to happen, but it was real. This is like saying if you live in a wooded area, there's a 100% chance that a bear will attack your family for honey and picnic baskets. We're not sure when or how or, or, or even what the percentage is, but this will happen. Or, or, or if the bears are in your bear area, then you, you rest assured that there's a real threat that the bear is living in your homes right now. They're, they're, that's the reality we have to accept with no proof. Usually imminence suggests that the when in this situation, but time is a hard concept to keep straight when you're weaving a web of lies. Like him or not, I think we can all agree that Mike Pompeo is no Dick Cheney, and I'm honestly not sure if that's a good or bad thing. But, like we talked about last week, General Soleimani is also a complicated figure. He has kept ISIS at bay, but also has a lot of American, Syrian, and Palestinian blood on his hands as he supported terror groups like Hezbollah and Hamas. He's in the similar category as your grandpa that buys you a new car, but also says weirdly disparaging things about the Jews. And because of this critique of the American empire and falsehoods that are being sold about this attack, America has begun its censorship of anything surrounding Iran. Instagram, a subsidiary of Facebook, where 100% of the selfies exist, is removing all the posts that say anything positive about General Soleimani. Facebook and PayPal are blocking any content that doesn't surround the, the false mainstream narrative of Iran. I guess 1984 showed up like 36 years late. You know, it's like the dystopia is having a bit of a midlife crisis and is confused about how to exactly use social media. The independent news organization The Gray Zone Project had one of its videos where they covered facts and events about Iran and Hezbollah removed for violating community standards surrounding dangerous people. Yet Fox News gets to glorify Mike Pence and pro-torture CIA director Gina Hasbel, who's been nicknamed Bloody Gina. Okay, those two people are a danger to Amer the American people and truth. Not only that, but when a French reader wanted to send the Gray Zone $10 for their coverage of Iran and Iraq, their donation was blocked and sent back. PayPal flagged the term Iran in their note. Ironic how America xenophobically makes fun of the Middle East for their lack of freedom and repression, and yet we stay silent when we are robbed of ours. America is repressed from the truth. As America commits cyber warfare on its journalists, the country fears a cyber attack from Iran. Over the last few years, Iran's cybersecurity division has exponentially risen up the ranks. The concern originates from the threats made by Iran's supreme leader about revenge. My concern is that this will mean that we're all going to receive Trump and Pompeo's dick pics as vengeance. And with the lack of health care... It'll be an entire citizenship that's traumatized with nowhere to get help. This is most likely going to be used as a scapegoat in terms of leaks for the next few years. Anytime information about war crimes, corporate fraud, or digital fuckery happens, they'll just blame it on Iran. And to be fair, arbitrarily blaming Russia has become hack for the State Department and the corporate legislative wing of the American war economy. You know, they, they need to freshen things up and find a new perspective and a new enemy. That way, when they try the, try the same old tricks, it, it has a fresh new coat of bullshit paint on it, and, and they can drag the masses down the same rabbit hole so that history is forever doomed to repeat itself like the worst version of Groundhog's Day. And on top of the potential cyber attacks and the censorship of authentic independent media, Iraq has voted to expel American troops from their country. 
America's response to this was very similar to an abusive partner. Right? Pompeo said that they don't know what they're doing, and they, they're, they're there to complete the mission of making sure Iraqi troops are trained, and, and, and then they threatened the economic sanctions on Iraq. In a classic abusive partner maneuver, they reminded Iraq that it's nothing without the American military, the American military loves them, and is trying to protect them and then steals money from them and makes Iraq pay for dinner. Economic sanctions are warfare. It affects the people of these countries and creates animosities and opportunities for predatory actions from problematic groups. Slapping economic sanctions to get what it wants has become the American way. America is proving that it's no different than the countries they fight. The State Department and the executive branch create a culture of fear surrounding nationalism and xenophobia and censor voices that shed light on truth. Uh, I'm go- I've got some live stand-up comedy dates coming up. If you enjoy any of the content that you have listened to on this podcast, you will probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy. It talks about uh, a lot of the, the uh, similar uh, topics and philosophies that we cover in this podcast. Uh, so I'm going to be in uh, Lancaster, PA on January 24th. I'm going to be opening for my good friend Lee Camp in Philadelphia on January 25th and 26th. On January 29th, I'm going to be in Boston, Massachusetts. January 31st, I'm going to be in Portland, Maine. Uh, On February 6th, I'm going to be at the Vermont Law School. Uh, February 7th, I'm going to be in Middlebury, Vermont. February 8th, in Burlington, Vermont. February 9th, in Bridgewater, Vermont. February 10th, uh, back to Burlington, Vermont. Uh, February 11th, in Rochester, New York. February 15th in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Pittsburgh friends, if you missed my December show, there's an opportunity to come check me out. Uh, Check out the uh, Politely Angry uh, before it is recorded um, at the Pittsburgh Fringe Festival in the first week of April. Uh, And then on February 17th, I'm in Huntsville, Alabama. February 20th in Springfield, Missouri. February 21st in Fayetteville, Arkansas, February 22nd in Springdale, Arkansas, and I've got a bunch of dates lined up, a bunch of dates lined up. Um, Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com for my entire tour schedule. I'm going to be touring all over the country. I'm going to be doing a bunch of dates with my friend Lee Camp as well, Uh, so that's going to be very exciting. And I'm recording my album in March and April. As I just mentioned, on March 20th, I'm going to be recording my album in Washington, D.C. And on March 21st, I'm going to be recording my album in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, as well as the first weekend of April at the Pittsburgh Fringe Festival. So make sure that you guys stay tuned to these announcements. Go to my website. Join my email list. Keep up to date on all of these shows, on all of the things that I'm doing. Um, And if you would like to financially support this show, you can do so by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, uh, All the patrons that have already signed up, all all the people that are already patrons, thank you so much. It means a lot. It really does. Every single... Um, every single dollar helps. Every single uh, little tiny amount helps uh, this show get better. Uh, it helps me put out more content and and uh, keep focused on putting out good, interesting, independent, DIY, socially conscious comedy. Uh, so go to patreon.com slash Mohan ha ha. And all the patronages start only at $2 a month. And with $2 a month, you get early access to the multi-part forkful of noodles and exclusive stand-up comedy and storytelling tracks that are not available to uh, anybody else except for the patrons. Plus, some of the tiers also get free tickets to live shows. So once again, go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, 